My name is John Cook, and my friends call me Johnny. We've got a lot of projects coming up. This is just a picture of a few, but today we're actually going to use a clear bottle in the project at the end of the video. Bottle color really doesn't make any difference. We're demonstrating the use of our new bottle cutting machine. This is really a labor-saving device. In this video, we're cutting two wine bottles. A lot of people like to cut wine bottles, so that's what we're going to show first. We're showing a blue one, we're showing a green one. The only difference is the green one is a little bit longer in length and requires a machine adjustment. It's really easy. You still have to follow the safety procedures, wear gloves, eyeglasses, use a shop vac, set up the plexiglass shield, and, and begin the cutting. What I like about this machine is it really reduces the sanding time. You get such a nice clean cut. I let the bottle rotate one complete time to do the cut and then one more time to kind of dress up the edge. There is a little board in the back that catch, catches the, the bottom of the bottle as it falls off. But anyway, this is really easy to build. I think I got 30 hours in it. You can get the plans on whatsnewjohnny.com. The plans include complete blueprints with color illustrations, dimensions, resources, and an assembly video, which I think is really helpful if you can see exactly how it goes together. In this part of the video, you can see how easy it is to make an adjustment for the length of the bottle. Bottles vary in length, so you're constantly having to adjust it, and this system makes that really, really easy. Also, I might add, the, the cutting head, the cutting disc doesn't take a lot of pressure to push it into the bottle. You just slowly bring it up to the bottle, it'll cut right through, and once you're into the bottle, you just hold it in that position until you're done. When sanding a bottle, using the sanding platform, it's really important to follow the normal safety procedures. It's important to use a shop vac, so that you can pick up the debris and the, the, basically the dust so you're not breathing it. You wear a face mask, eyeglasses, gloves, and take your time. Don't be in a hurry. It takes almost a minute or a minute and a half to sand a, a wine bottle. In the video, we're using a hook and loop aluminum oxide sanding pad, and they're available from whatsnewjohnny.com. These pads are really great. We run them at 650 RPM on the Bauer polisher, and they last, maybe I can get 10 or 12 bottles out of, out of a pad, and then I take it off, roll it up on a piece of wood, and use it to sand the inside of the bottle. It's easy to work with bottles that have been separated, been cut and sanded properly, and they're ready for your, whatever your craft project is gonna be. In today's project, we're actually using a clear wine bottle and we're making a chime and a bottle candle. Complete instructions are available. If you, after watching this little video of the, of the chime, which we hung up and did a video of it rotating, you can go to whatsnewjohnny.com, you can go to our website, and you can see, the, you can see complete instructions on how to make this chime. This is really great. And it also can be a bottle candle, and you can learn about that too. And of course, we always start the video reviewing how to use a bottle cutting machine. But I think you really find a lot of interesting projects if you hit subscribe and like and stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching the video.